All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, we got three more uh, prophets and prophetess. Okay, we got Joan, we have James, and we have Jeremiah. So let's get started. We're going to start with a prayer, and then they're going to give you their prophetic words for 2020. Heavenly Father, we thank you, and we thank you for these three ministries that are coming up and they're going to be giving their prophetic words for 2020. We bless their ministries, Father. Anything that you see that they need to improve, Father, improve it now. And anything that they're doing well, may you magnify it in Yeshua's name in 2020 and beyond. We thank you, Father. We thank you for our ministries. We thank you for everyone's listening uh, ministries. That we just bless, bless, bless everyone listening, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Father, for your blessings, your favor, your joy, your peace, your happiness, your breakthroughs, Father. Many people are going to break through in 2020. The year of breakthrough, the year of vision, the year of double double, the year of perfect vision in Yeshua's mighty name, the year of the reset. We thank you, Father, that injustice will become justice in your presence in 2020 in Yeshua's mighty name. We repent for all of our sins, every single sin that we have committed and done that is evil in your sight. We wash ourselves clean now and we repent for those sins. We repent for the sins of perversion, the sins of lust, the sins of lying and cheating and stealing and deceiving and uh, the, the sins of, uh, uh, of just wickedness in Yeshua's mighty name. Uh, any type of witchcraft, any type of hexes and vexes and spells and any type of demonic dreams. Heavenly Father, we cancel all those things and we just send them all back to the sender. A hundred million, billion, trillion fold, pin with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach and this Holy Spirit. We thank you in Yeshua's mighty name that these things will never come to pass, that anything negative will not touch us. This coronavirus will not touch us in Yeshua's mighty name. May we be covered with the blood of Yeshua. May these three ministries be covered with the blood. May my ministry be covered. May everyone listening be covered in the blood of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, in Yeshua's mighty, mighty name. We thank you, Father. May we be covered with the Holy Spirit. May we be covered with your presence and, and the angels in Yeshua's mighty name from this, this coronavirus and any other virus and anything else, any type of plague that comes upon us in, in, in the land in 2020 and beyond. In Yeshua's mighty name, we walk and we talk in confidence that because we know his name, we know the name of Yeshua, we know the name of the Holy Spirit, we know the name of the Father, Abba, in Yeshua's mighty name. And we thank you, Father. We thank you that we're going to succeed in this year and nothing will stop it in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you that these three ministries are going to continue to succeed in 2020 and beyond as they stick to your word, as they stick to your uh, plans, as they stick to the kingdom of God, as they fulfill their destiny in Yeshua's mighty name. Do not let them be derailed, Father, in Yeshua's mighty name. May they continue to stick to your ways and your and your winning ways and your glorious ways and your holy ways is yours in Yeshua's mighty name. And may you get all the credit for everything that they, all the success that they have in 2020, all the success I have in 2020, all the success our followers have in 2020, all our success our subscribers have, everybody that's part of this team in Yeshua's mighty name. May you get the glory for all of our success in 2020. May you get the glory for the wealth transfer of 2020. May you get the glory of every, of the healing of in 2020. May people be healed of every sickness and disease in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for the healing. We thank you for the healing of every sickness and disease right now from your people, everybody that is a part of the kingdom of God. May you touch us now and heal us from every sickness and disease and hidden disease and hidden sickness, hidden illness right now. In Yeshua's mighty name. And we thank you, Father, for healing us of our sickness and diseases. In Yeshua's mighty name, we pray. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, guys and girls, we're going to start. And uh, you're going to hear from Joan, James, and Jeremiah. Here you go. Peace out, God bless, and eyes open. Hi, this is Joan Hunter, and I'm so excited to share with you what God has put on my heart for 2020. As many of you know by now that the Jewish calendar... 5780, 5 plus 7 plus 8 equals 20. This is the first time in history that the Jewish calendar has lined up with the Christian calendar. 
which means greater alignment, greater than we've ever expected before. I believe that this year of 2020 is, yes, we all know about clarity of vision, but the vision of what God has called you to do from years ago, that we're actually going to be walking out those dreams and the vision, and that God is going to have supernatural provision for what God has called us to do this year. And I want to encourage you to prepare your heart, prepare your mind, prepare your spirit to do what he's called you to do. Many of you have tremendous callings on your life, but because of circumstances and different situations going on, you're going, I can't, I mean, God's called me to do something that's way beyond whatever I had ever thought or dreamt to do before in my life. Well, you know what? I am living way beyond what I ever thought I would ever do. Be on television, really be, be with this program right here on, you know, on, on the YouTube channel and to be able to share with you my heart, that's truly a miracle. But I had to step out of the boat, step out of my comfort zone and to walk into all that God has for me. This is your year to get out of your boat, out of your comfort zone and literally walk out all that God has for you. And I speak that blessing over you in Jesus name. Amen. Hey, this is James Gall with God Encounters Ministries, where God Encounters are for everyone and God Encounters are for you. Let me give you a few quick little highlights of what I feel the Holy Spirit is saying about 2020 and beyond. Number one, it is not just a new day. It is not just a new year. It is not only a new decade, I believe that we are crossing the threshold into an entire new era in Christendom. We are at a Joshua chapter 4 moment. We're on one side of the Jordan River. Revelation is revealed. Consecration occurs, a culture of honor, and they pass over to the other side of the Jordan. They pile up the 12 memorial stones, It becomes an oral tradition where they tell the prophetic storyline to the next generation. And on one side, it's revelation revealed. And the other side, it's revelation fulfilled. We are now being postured to enter into the inheritance of many amazing prophetic revelations that were revealed in the past And those of us now pick up the promises, cross over into a new era of promise being fulfilled. Things like the billion soul harvest of youth. Things like stadiums being filled beginning in 2020 and beyond. Next, we are in a fresh move of righteousness. Number one. We are postured for inheriting generational prophetic blessings and promises. Number two, we are in a new move of righteousness. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord but he who has clean hands and a pure heart? And the Holy Spirit will be moving upon Psalm 24. Number then three is we are shifting into the time of the great harvest. It is no longer to be said three more months, four more months, Three more years, four more years, 20 more years. No, we are crossing over from revelation revealed to revelation fulfilled. And what we are crossing over into is the beginning of the great harvest, the greatest harvest the world has ever seen thus far, the greatest harvest the body of Christ has ever known. And I just declare this over you for 2020 and beyond. God bless you. Greetings, Jeremiah Johnson here, founder and overseer of Heart of the Father Ministry in Lakeland, Florida. Also a best-selling author. 2020 is going to be an incredible year. First, just briefly, in terms of the church, God has really been speaking to me about a boom coming to the upper room. I really believe that God is calling the church in this season back to the place of prayer, really coming up higher. That upper room, there was a boom, Pentecost. We need 
a greater a, a greater glory Pentecost in the church. So I want to encourage you if you're watching this in 2020, get into that upper room. The upper room was also the place that Elijah took the widow's son who was dead. I want to prophesy to you that there are many prodigals that are going to come home in 2020. And the key is as parents, get them in the upper room, that place of prayer, and really seek the Lord. And then also in the political landscape in 2020, God has clearly spoken to me that the future of America belongs in the hands of the baby boomers. If you were born between 1946 and 1964, this is your year. I had a dream where Donald Trump was running something like a marathon in Boston. Crowds were jeering, they were yelling, and Donald Trump fell just short of the finish line. As the, cl as the crowds were yelling, he was helpless. But two women came from out of the crowd. One was a feeble woman walking on a walker. The other was on a cane. And somehow, supernaturally, they lifted Donald Trump up to his feet and allowed him to finish the race. I believe in 2020, it's time to help Donald Trump get reelected and finish the race. But the key is those two older women, those baby boomers, those intercessors, it's time for the church to pray once again. Look for a boom in the upper room in the church, the call to prayer. I see incense burning even in family rooms. So many churches running by programs. It's time to get back to the prayer meetings. And boomers, it's up to you. You have that sense of morality. You're going to war against abortion. You're going to understand the times and seasons in which we're living. I just can't wait for 2020. Thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye.